Radiant team, ban. Check that. Apologies. Yeah, it's early start. You know, the first game is always a little bit rough and ready. Uh, but we should be basically alternating myself and Winter and also Gods and Winter today in these casts. And uh, I should be being joined by Winter, uh, but he didn't actually manage to get into the in-game chat channel. We might get him on anyway so you guys can hear him on stream. Apologies to anyone on the ticket. You won't be able to hear the co-caster. Uh, so we, we had a bit of a mess up there at the start. Uh, let's see what the status is. <laughs> Right, and uh, right. I'm 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 going to try and get Winter on the line now. Right. Okay, Winter, are you there? Ah, uh, I know. I, I was. Do you, do you think we should? Uh, you should still cast and like. Uh, obviously, the people in game they will just have to come onto the stream. Ten seconds remaining. Or is it two? Yeah, I, I think you should stick about. We need you, Winter. We need you here. And uh, once again, if you are watching on the ticket for this game, uh, do make sure uh, that you well, come over to the stream if you want to hear Winter as well. Um, this will only be a problem here for this first game. I do apologize. Uh, it was a technical glitch at the start and uh, just a bit of confusion with the broadcaster slots. Basically, they were all full at the start. Uh, the English didn't have a slot, so we had to kind of uh, barter our way in. Uh, but we're good to go. And anyway, Empire versus Secret, the draft so far winter empire they're gonna get their quad they're gonna get there and dying and secret they open up with the io bristle back combo what, what, what do you think about this winter reserve time Okay, indeed, and uh, well, the band so far looking at what each team's taken away from each other. Understandably, Empire, of course, they ban out that shadow theme. We saw Arteezy have some amazing games on the SF yesterday, and Secret, the first ban Tusk. It is the hero that we've all been talking about, especially in this uh, in this land, and and rightfully so, being taken out away from the side of Empire. Dazzle and Disrupt, of course, two supports that we see the uh, see Empire like to run a lot, and Gyro as well. You know, we, lo we know Silent loves that hero, and we know that he's pretty damn good at it. So understandable bands there now. And now Secret here with his third pickup. Now, obviously, looking at what the side of Team Empire have got, when you know this that lanes are going to be as strong as Empire, uh, our Empire's going to be with the Quapper and Dying, what, what can we kind of see Team Secret do in terms of drafting against this lineup? Storm Spirit. Okay, and well, Secret, they're going to be picking up the Storm Spirit. So, again, you know, another very strong hero and a hero that does get banned out a lot against them. And uh, with that, and of course the IO, there's going to be a lot of global ganking potential and, and the side of Secret, they should be able to kind of crisscross into the lanes when necessary once Storm and IO hit their level 6. And uh, I mean, yeah, the Empire have got to be really aware of kind of Secret's mid-game global presence because it's going to be very strong. Ten seconds remaining. Okay. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Now for the fourth pick here of Secret. Let's see if they do indeed to go for something like that to complement their draft so far. We're still looking for, of course, that third core and the second support here for the side. They've already used a majority of their reserve time here as well compared to what Team Empire have. And, oh, it's going to be the Brood pick. They're going to sneak it in here as the fourth pick up. And again, one of those heroes that teams, when they're thinking about it, they do not want to play against it. They'll just casually ban it out. But this time it gets through the draft. Empire, they try and do something against it and they're going to straight away pick up the Axe
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Yes. Ten seconds, Andy, looking at Empire's lineup, indeed, for this final pickup, they'll almost certainly need uh, what I'd imagine to be Silence Hero. Uh, Viper's going to be banned out, interestingly enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Quill sprays for days indeed. And well, let's see if they go for something like that here with the final pick. We saw, of course, uh, Puppy rocking the CM uh, yesterday, and it, it was pretty, pretty damn pretty. So we'll see what he goes for here to complement the drafts. Last final 10 seconds coming down here at the draft time. What's Puppy going to opt for? Let's have a little. What does he take? Is it going to be something funky, something a little bit fun? And there we go. It is indeed going to be the Crystal Maiden, as we were saying. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. And here we go then, final pickup for Empire. So what do, what do they take? What other what other options are kind of Empire looking at now to, to kind of deal with what Secret have brought to this fight? Okay, yeah, let's see if they run something like that. We've seen a, I can't remember if it was in this league, but uh, it might have been in, in fact, Dream League. The TA has been picked up a couple of times, and oh, Empire now taking the time here. This is a big pick, you know, Team Secret at the moment, they're on something ridiculous, like a 12, 13, I don't know, it's, I mean, it's over 10 game win streak. Not a single team has been able to take a game from them. The question is, is Empire going to be able to do it? And it's going to be the Outworld Devourer here. And that is going to be Resolutions here. So it looks like we're probably going to see... Is it going to be Silent on the Queen of Pain? I'd imagine. Or is they going to put a position one axe and do the Quop off lane? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Obviously, it's a hero that we don't see that Ten much at all. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Prepare for battle.
Yes, indeed. Let's get ourselves into this one, ladies and gentlemen. The first game of this best of five here between the sides of Team Secret and Team Empire here for the Mars TV Dota 2 League. Once again, just a little bit of a disclaimer and an apology uh, due to some technical mishaps at the start. Winter's mic is not working in-game, so I do apologize. If you wish to hear Winter as well, you will have to head over to the stream on Azubu. But with that out of the way, let's get ourselves acquainted with the sides. On the side of Secret, it is going to be the RTZ Bristleback Kuroki will be on the eye. You can have S4 on his Storm Spirit, and that finally leaves Puppy on his signature Crystal Maiden, and Zai on the Broodmother. It's myself, Odie Pixel, joined by Winter. And Winter, do you want to go ahead and introduce to us the tide of Team Empire? And I think, well, Belay looks at this from the side, a team's secret. I mean, they're, they're looking at the lanes from themselves. Where do you think they send uh, there at the moment? S4 and I going to the top. Bristle mid. Well, this is, uh, this, I mean, kind of lame matchup wise. So it'll be the Storm and Io up against the Witch Doctor Axe. I mean, should Secret do all right in this lane, or is it going to be a pretty tough lane for them? And we'll see how well Resolution's able to, to do here against Artesian straight away there. Just uh, taking the Intel down and bottom lane. Uh, the other lane we haven't really talked about. And Lohot Dance actually going to TP up to top here. So it looks like they're going to send the Undying up here with the Axe because mid lane, bit of a rotation coming in. Look at this. is in a lot of trouble. This could be your first blood, ladies and gentlemen. One more right click will seal the deal. And Resolution getting first blood in the mid lane against the Bristleback with the help of the rotation from Witch Doctor. I mean, you were saying this was going to be a hard lane for Bristleback. It's going to be even harder now giving the first blood to OD. I guess, yeah, that is the question. If you are the side of secret, do you kind of just, you know, take it on the chin or, or do you need to react and do you need to keep this brood away from the axe? Absolutely, and so I mean the top lane, obviously the fact that S4 is now having to deal with a bit of a different matchup with the Undying and the Quop, it's it's going to be a tricky lane, especially with the Eye leaving him, Kuroki's actually headed towards the mid lane, helping Arteezy try to secure this rune, the question is our uh, Empire in a position to try and fight this one, looks like they want to do so, Resolution coming in as well, Artor, he's out of mana, they're going to try and move in, and Resolution will be able to snag the rune here, now Arteezy will be able to head back up to the high ground, he's got the heals of Kuroki, he's going to okay. But again, just uh, we're really seeing the Bristleback struggling against this OD at the moment. Yeah, they might be able to provide a little bit of harassment at the same time, of course, with this sentry here, Yoku. He's going to be entirely aware when the cup puppy comes in, but this is a wise movement. He's gone right round the back, so there's no way for Yoku to run it. Maybe they can achieve something. There's a TP in as well from Kuroki. They really want to try and kill Yoku here. There's going to be a rotation from Witch Doctor, though. And now with the call, Yoku trying to turn this one around. Puppy's getting there with the spins. They will bring down the CM. Axe does end up paying with his life. And now it's the question whether Secret can find anything more. It doesn't look like it. Always want to fly. We'll be able to get back to the tower. But all in all, you know, the rotation there from the side of Empire securing the fact that they bring down the CM before the Axe goes down. Very nicely done again from Empire.
Oh man, I mean we saw Zarya just harassing back the Witch Doctor and then just going in for the final blow. And indeed Witch Doctor maybe just overestimating the power of the Voodoo Restoration. So bringing it to two for two now on the board. I mean in terms of CS wise though, look at the board Winter. Uh, Empire, they're having a great time. Top three at the moment. Indeed, we haven't seen a lower dance being able to get himself involved in any of the action at the moment. But indeed, as you're saying, the fact that Yoku is heading into the jungle, they're going to be able to utilize that. At the same time, though, we've seen Puppy, of course, on the CM. He's been doing what he can in the jungle. And also Artur backing up now, trying to catch himself up in terms of CS there, clearing out account with the help of Kuroki. I mean, S4 on this off lane, he's been fighting a fair few levels. Level 4 at the moment. We will now see him TP down to the bottom one. So keeping himself away from that undying co-op, dual lane and Zai will indeed head up top. So coming up to five minutes in, that's the lane swap that we were looking for from Secret. Oh, Silence picked up a TP. They might, yeah, Silence going to head back down there. This is absolutely musical lanes at his best. And uh, they're going to be right ready to contest with S4's farm here. The car's coming through. Silent coming in as well with the burst damage. The bounces, they're there. They're real. And they're going to be able to bring down S4. That's going to be a kill there for Empire. And again, very smart rotations from the side of Empire. And indeed, Joku, he's going to be able to get the call off here. Zai trying to go with Puffin Kuroki. Can Yoku get himself back to the tower? There's going to be a coming through. It doesn't matter. The nuke there from Zai is enough to bring him down. And oh, I can already tell, Winter, this is going to be a very close game between these two sides. And Secret maybe thinking if they can look for more here. Popping the web here, trying to get this movement speed to get in range here. Ons always want to fly. Ah, the spirits as well here. Always want to fly, getting low, but oh, they're not going to want to dive that. It's just a little bit too far for the side of Secret. And they will back themselves off. Power is under attack. Indeed, he's trying to go in on uh, Yoke, Yoke TP on his own, and now he's in trouble because Puppy's there with a the rotation, and that will be a kill for the side of Secret, shutting down the axe again in the top lane. And the lower dance, he's, yeah, he's just going to have to back up. I mean, it, kind of looking at two trusts of fight, kind of does feel that the Undying, he hasn't really found a position to be that effective here in the laning stage. Is under and secret now with three heroes up here making the uh, skip happen and they're going to be able to get the damage onto the tower fortification will come out empire will they be able to stop this one run out of the casket it's just going to bounce between the babies and Yoku just moving in as well. Does have the backup, of course, of Aloha Dance and well, always want to fly. He's on the sidelines as well. So it looks like Empire will be able to hold this tier one for the time being. I mean, obviously looking at the other lanes, it's kind of turned the mid lane into a bit of a free farm session here for Resolution. 43 for 23 at the moment in this mid lane. And bottom lane, the one for one at the moment between S4 and Silent. Silent does have a two level advantage in Halo. We might see a bit of a clash here because Zai, he's found always want to fly here. Kuroki coming in as well to help out. Zai now in a mega kill streak. That is another kill for this spider and Zai. He's been having a pretty good game so far, even with the lame rotations from Empire trying to deal with him. He's five for zero at the moment. And well, Yoku looking for the call. Won't be able to find it. And well, we're starting to see why teams do like to ban out this brood mother, because it's uh, proven to be quite annoying for Empire to play against.
Well, we're going to see Silent. He's found himself an Invis rune. There was no vision here for on the Radiant on the bottom lane, so something big could come of this. There's two heroes at the moment towards the mid. RT's in Kuroki. They need to be careful. The lower dance resolution, and in fact, we always want a fly coming in as well. They want to do something here. They're going to be able to scout them out here on this camp. Is anyone going to come in and follow out Silent? Is he going to go for the cheeky kill onto Kuroki? Oh, Kuroki. Oh, you are such a beautiful IO. Oh, and he's going to live. Is he going to live? No, surely not. No, Silent is able to blink forward and finish him off there. Kuroki nearly, nearly saving himself there with the tether to Artel. No. Oh. <sighs> Absolutely. I mean, Witch Doctor, not, not the funnest of heroes to play when you're in a lane alone against a, uh, a brood mother. I mean, Zeiss is going to kill you every time now at this point. Always want to fly, he's got to stick with the guys. But six for four, and the fact that Zai, all six kills for the team so far. Yeah, Yoku, he's all alone here, with Puppy coming in as well. This is going to be another kill for the side of Team Secret. There will be TPs coming into the top lane. Always want to fly, thrown out the cast, but he's on his own as Zai. Might even think about going back into this one onto the Witch Doctor. Now he's going to be on his own again, and always want to fly, realizes he does not want to stick around in this lane, and does back himself off. But yeah, this Zai brood is becoming a massive issue here for the side of Empire. Power is under attack. Oh, this would be a big kill if they could get it, but Zai just TP's out. He's at this point of the game, he's, he's so far he can just afford to do that and not worry about being bursted down. Level 9 on your brood, and, and, and that's a bit of an issue when you, we kind of throw in a Witch Doctor and a Queen of Pain and you can't kill the brood mother. And here we go, s 4 has been given a bit of space here on this bottom lane. In terms of the net worth though, looking at the board, Empire, they're still looking fairly healthy. We have got Zai at the top on 5.4k, but then he is followed by both Resolution and, of course, good old Silent on the Queen of Pain. Yeah, that, oh. He wants to try and man fight this. He, he doesn't want to blink. He knows. Yeah, in comes your. Oh, there's your relocate. <laughs> it's not even needed. Zai cleans up on his own. But as you said, they're the mind game. Silent knew that when he was going to blink, a relocate was going to go on, come on top of him. And it's. I mean, it's in situations like this where you kind of look at the drafts as secret and you realize that they can play it so well against Empire's lineup. And Dean, thanks for these kills as well. The lead in terms of net worth overall is a, a, a 4k lead, which is in, pretty impressive. And uh, here we go straight onto Resolution. Oh, he did manage to get off the Vortex, so this would be defensive. Uh, he just protected himself there, and now here comes the Vortex onto Resolution. The Death Force being blocked out by Oswald to fly. They're trying to turn this one around, but Arteezy, they've already been able to kill the OD. Arteezy will be able to get out. S4 will almost certainly be able to find the Witch Doctor. He's doing his best. He will get it. Yoku was able to find the kill onto the CM. We're seeing a bit of a fight continue as well as Zai. Looking for Silent here in the trees. He's found him, and he's going to go in with the right click. Yoku trying to come through as well. Now it's S4 returns to the fight, gets himself a double kill. They're going to look for Yoku as well. Yoku he gets the call off. Aloha does a turn up, trying to turn this one around. Zai, can he find the kill on Yoku? No, he can't quite find it. Kuroki's coming in to help Zai get out. Or maybe Zai wants to stick around here with the help of the Io. He could look to continue to fight this one up against the Undying. Nah, he's going to back himself up to the high ground. But a bit of a hectic fight there. Ending up three for two trade for the side of Secret. Empire losing both of their cores. And Secret losing the two supports and the Storm Spirit there. Oh, oh, he's gonna live! McCall is 
massive from Yoko. The spins and the dunk. Shutting side down. What a reaction there from Yoko. And what a time to have a blink dagger. A low heart dance. He's going to need to have to change his underwear, but he lives. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, so they do get a kill there on the bottom. They did, but yeah, losing the Crystal Maiden and uh, losing the Broodmother across the map. So another favorable trade for Empire, and Empire proving that they might have what it takes to take a game for Secret. There we go, setting it up. Yoku. I've got to say, now they play, it, these plays from Yoku are big. You know, he, he didn't have the greatest of laning stages. You know, Broodmother was having a better time, but now he's coming in with the plays that are really counting and helping Empire swing themselves back into this one. go 12 to 10 at the moment and indeed the Aegis on OD and uh, well the question is yes so do, do Empire they're kind of on a timer do they need to keep the aggression on at this point oh Yoku again gets the cool and the dunk on to Kuroki There'll be a TP out from Artor and Zyle will just head away. But again, this Blink Axe making a lot of good things happen for the side of Empire. Pick off after pick off. Absolutely. I mean, resolution. So on this on uh, our world to Vara, he's got the four staff so far. What do you reckon he'll decide to build up next on on this position or uh, this mid hero? Okay. Dance. He's finding a bit of space here on this bottom lane and top lane side. That's got a double damage. He doesn't have any detection on himself. Neither does Leody, so it's going to be a hard to catch. It's actually really cool. Okay. Okay. Oh. And either way, yeah, <laughs> it just runs you down, absolutely. And if you're some of the supports on Empire, that's not going to be fun to deal with at all. I mean, I think, as you said, once they get this, if they do get the Cypher up on OD, that's going to be massive because they do need a little bit more control. You know, Undying and Witch Doctor, you know, the powerful, you know, good pushing supports, but in terms of locking down heroes like the Broodmother, they don't really offer too much at all. Go and uh, and Zai just uh, taking the dominance here from this top lane. And uh, so Empire, they're trying to push around here. They're trying to get the creep way towards this tower. Mid lane as well, Arteezy was trying to do a bit of damage to the tier one. Bottom lane, the remainder of the side of secret. We've got S4, Kuroki, and Pop down here at the moment. Ravian's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Yeah. 
Let's have a look. As we can see, look at the XP. It's come back to red to zero. And, and the net worth, I mean, it was a 4K lead. Now it's gone down to two. The Sub Empire certainly keeping a secret in place this game. Uh, so just kind of a question when these big calls come online for both sides. I mean, Arteezy, we haven't really seen him uh, do much, uh, what kind of look for any fights at this moment. And the same thing kind of passes for... Oh, indeed, there's going to be a relocate onto a low Ardance. He pulls down the Tombstone, puppy here with the ultimate. They'll have more than enough damage to bring him down. Now, <coughs> Empire, by trying to swing here with Silent Blinking Ball with the death ward as well. Oh, Sonic Wave onto Puppy. Look, looking for the call, he's not going to find it. And Aya will be able to re-relocate back out of the fight. But the side of Empire fight coming in return and maybe see if they can go for the S4. Will zip to the sidelines, he'll TP out and there won't be an astral imprisonment in time to, to stop him from getting away. I always want to fly just thrown out of cast, but as you said, that's all that's going to see through the circle. I want to buy into this one, there's a lot of damage coming out, this would have been ballsy TP, and indeed Astro and Dying Dead, Silent and always want to fly Marvel to try and tell this, but the rest of Secrets here, they are taking down Silent, they're probably going to find the Wind Doctor here as well, zipping forward, this is going to be three pickoffs for the side of Secret, Yoki trying to 40 cannon with the call on Zazai, but he's going to go down as well, and Empire throwing away four heroes in the mid lane, what a disaster there for the side of the Dyer, we got lag our end and it looks like they've got some lag as well, so it is a little bit unfortunate, but... Oh man, that was not good for Empire throwing away four heroes like that. Dyer's naval tower has fallen. Sentry's been popped down here, Zai. He's keeping himself out of harm's way here on the side. There is a fair few members of the side of Empire here, so he wants to be careful where he pops out. But still, an hour after that fight, I don't know if it's going to have ticked it yet on the graph. So it's coming up to yeah, over 5k in terms of XP and 7.5k in terms of gold. With those kills that will kick in, we might even be reaching across to 10,000. It says that, that was a big swing for Secret there. Okay. Oh, indeed, Arteezy, he is now going to have his finished up BKB as well, so he's going to be a big threat in these fights with that on top of the Vanguard. And, uh, oh, well, we'll have to see what Empire want to do here is their next movement silent. He's going to work at taking down this tier one. Does have the backup as well if Secret are going to TP in for this. But looks like S4, he's content with pushing out here on the bottom lane. On top of the Orchid now, 2,000 gold. And net worth-wise, is looking very healthy for the individual heroes of Secret with them having the top three farmers on the board at the moment. Yeah, we'll see what, what the actual plan is here from them there. They're not coming out quite yet. Yoki's okay, silent and a low our dance. Just taking it easy here, but at the same time, this is when, uh, you know, secret, they're finding quite a bit across the map here. We've got Zion, the jungle, S4, down on this bottom lane. And they're still not leaving the tree line here. What, what, what are they waiting for, Winter? There we go. <laughs> Oh, Puppy does manage to TP out there. Yeah, why gobble blinking across there, looking for the call. Resolution coming in. And in fact, Axe Fool found a side. And the fight is. 
jungle. There he goes, Arteezy is trying to go down to low. It's always want to fly for an up. Cast trying to hold back the bristle back. He's trying to chase this one down there. An insane amount of lag. Apologies, perfect world servers. Astral imprisonment here onto the Broodmother. And it looks like Empire will be able to disengage and get themselves back out of this one. Yoku needs to be careful there. He's looking for the call on the crease. Now Zion Arteezy coming in with the reduced armor. Yoku taking so much damage. Just get four stuff back here by resolution. And Arteezy wants the kill. Pops the BKB. The resolution pops the Astral onto the Axe. Looks like something could belong in Vanevers. But no! He gets the blink out. <laughs> Yoku surviving by the skin of his teeth there. And uh, Empire losing a lot less than uh, than they could have there. So, so well played there by the side of Team Empire. Silent. No, he will blink away straight away here. And 18 to 12 at the moment. Let's have a look at the grass. They've progressed. And yeah, we're starting to see a fairly sizable lead now. 12,000 in terms of net worth for the side of Secret. And it's over 10K as well in terms of XP. So, and this is, I mean, with the lineup that Empire have, it was, it was as you were saying in the draft, it was a lineup that was designed to really kind of dominate the laning stage. with the save it looks like Io is he going to be able to look for a cheeky tether to puppy can he make this tether happen that is the question oh no the calls there Kuroki very much dead but Art easy he wants to avenge his mate here pops the BKB and he goes in silent is going to be able to blink away here now S4 taking up to the fight resolution four stopping himself up the high ground they haven't finished him off yet they want to get low hard dance first if they're looking for the TPI resolution he will be able to escape but it's just the undying going down the secret do manage to find something with Zai Zai he's got the desolator and he's breaking the base here looks like he will pay with his life as everything in the kitchen sink is thrown down on his head but you've got to be very aware of this brood. The fact that he's got this death, so he's already going to, always going to be knocking on your back door every time you come out of the base. Indeed, I mean, again, Roche Arteezy's oh, head in with the back of a Kuroki Empire. Will they be able to get themselves in there in time to contest? Puppy's picked himself up, the Yule's here now. Yeah. Mm, it looks like the side of Secret, though. Yeah, yeah they feel a little bit scared about coming. Middle Tower is under attack. melts at an insane pace and with that Aegis now to Arteezy secret they're very well in a position to fight here 
And Empire, they realize that. Oh, they didn't expect the Yules. They didn't expect the Yules here. And now with the Vortex, it's a Resolution. Bringing over Yoku, looking for the... Is he going to find it? Resolution, he gets the Cypher, but he's probably going to take out the Soul the damage. Oh, he's going to keep himself alive for the time being with the Astral. At the same time, Artur, Borch is going to have on the back lines. Resolution will drop. Artesia has already found the Wish Dust. He's going to try and find more here. There's a Sonic Wave coming out, but no one's dying on the side of Secret. Finally, Artur does go down, but he's got the Aegis. He's ready for round two. Yoku will fall into the right clicks of Puppy. There'll be a buyback from Axe, but the rest of Team Empire, they have no buybacks available, and now Secret, they're pretty much got free reign of bringing down the base of the side of Empire, and there was an incredibly bad fight for Empire to lose there. I mean, the question is, going into the second draft, do, um, I've, do the Empire need to ban out both the Io and the Brood, or, or what's the issue here, in your mind? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the graphs now. 20,000 XP, over 25,000 in terms of gold here, favoring the side of Secret. BKB is now picked up by S4. It's, yeah, Empire going to need a wombo combo and a half if they want to catch out the side of Secret. And, and just so far, the game has been slowly falling apart for Empire and, and Secret. They're making the most of it. Artor. You know, he's got his Hopper Stone now on top of the Vanguard, the BKB and the SMY, working towards what we'd imagine to be the AC. And once they get an AC online, the Desolator on the Brood, the remainder of the base is just going to absolutely melt. There's only one set of racks here, and Tier 3s left on the side of Empire. Their base not looking in the healthiest of positions. Doctor, he's trying to do what he can, but the damage is just not in. One here is down, Arts eating it on the front lines, and they to maybe find a second. Yes, a lot of does go down. Always the flies gonna lose his life as well. GG is called by the side of Team Empire and Secret, taking the first game here of this best of five finals winter, and what a performance from the side.